Ga- Why don't they have Gaza on the table? What do you need Gaza for? Gaza is the number one genocided country on the planet. Do you know why? Oh, wait. No. Because people like to say Gaza. Hoo yee, oh yee. Do you have any Gaza? We need more Gaza. Where is the Gaza? No Gaza? You know, it must be impossible for a Hasidic Jew to say I Gaza and not get Gaza. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted seltzer, not Gaza. Yeah, I don't know what replaces seltzer. <laughs> we didn't think it that far ahead. I wanted bombs dropped, not children dead, because they like to say Gaza. Gaza. I wanted Gaza, not Gaza. Anyway. Welcome to the show, everybody. Yeah. That okay. was a way to start it. We call that a cold open in the industry. Jerry Seinfeld, the manliest guy. You remember back in the 90s, the manliest guy Whoa. you could think of? Okay, well, we, we'll get to that. Yeah, yeah. Well, think of, think on that for the next 30 seconds. So basically, Steve and Steven have rebranded to Goontopia, and it may not go over well with some fans. The expression is gooning, G-O-O-N-I-N-G. It's called gooning and the left wants to ban it completely. Listen, here's the thing. I love gooning. So get up, dust off, goon. 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 All right, everyone, welcome to Goontopia. Remember men in the 90s, what were you saying? Oh, yeah, you remember back in the 90s when men were super manly? Yeah. Man man was manly, and Jerry Seinfeld was naked, Mm -hmm. cover of Vogue. When I got a boner. Yeah. <laughs> was he naked on Vogue with his uh, 17-year-old girlfriend? You know, everybody likes to bring that up, but it's yeah. crazy that it's like he's supporting the bad guys in the war, but I'm still going to bring up the 17-year-old thing. You know, it's well, like- not you the same thing. That's uh, <clears throat> If you're building a case for him being bad, those are <laughs> yeah, two yeah. things you could say. No, it does add up. And even the Pop-Tart movie is another layer to it. That is the worst. By far, that is his worst mm-hmm. offense. In my opinion, because he's Jewish. What is he not going to like Israel? Him and Brett Gelman are the only brave actors in Hollywood who are willing to support their people. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's a damn shame. Yeah, where's uh, Sela Silverman? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is she Chinese? (laughs) (laughs) Sela Silverman. Silverman. (laughs) I love Chinese. I love the Gaza babies. Ooh, Gaza makes me so awkward. Do you remember that Seinfeld bit? Just what? because they like to say Gaza? I don't know. I try to, whenever I do a Sarah Silverman, does she talk out of the side of her mouth like yeah, Brian, Brian cool, Wilson? Yeah, she's cool. Like one of the boys. I talk out of the side of my mouth like Brian Wilson, um, but I'm not a genius like him. Damn, her shoulders are broad. Shoulders so broad, we call her Hunter Schaefer. <laughs> How about that? Yeah. What, Folks, what's worse, being a Jew or being a trans? No, I'm kidding. Okay. Both. Um, Both is worse. Uh, being a Polak is worse, mm-hmm. actually. Roman Polanski, so. he only moved to France. The only place dumber than Poland. You see, that should be his defense. You know, have you actually seen him <laughs> talk about that <laughs> of the girl? He, what? like, defends it. He's like, yeah, she wanted it. And she was Wait, like... Wait, I thought Tarantino defends him. Yes, but he defends himself, too. He's not like a, oh. yeah, I messed up. It was a mistake. He was like, the woman wanted it. And the judges, he said the judges were mad because they got to own it. You got to yeah. own who you are. Well, he said the judges were mad because they were <laughs> jealous that they couldn't get away with something that he got away with, even though he can't come to the U.S. anymore. Those are all good points, but I don't know if it gets him off of the the hook. Yeah. yeah. I appreciate that he, he defends himself, his actions, but at the same time, it was a horrible thing. And even though the woman has said numerous times that she forgives him, I don't think that's uh, valid, not because she's a woman, but because she was a child when it happened, you know? Yeah, so. she probably forgot. Mm-hmm. Roman Polanski, but have you heard of his brother, Greek Polanski? Mm-mm. I don't know. Could you imagine? <laughs> a Greek Polak? Jeez, what would they walk into the hardware store for? A hammer to hit themselves on the head with? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. But we have a list of things to talk yeah. about. We do have a full show. And speaking of gay guys. Should we? Should we? Uh, well, we've got two gay guys. We've got the pro- Pope Francis comment. And then we also have the Jerry Seinfeld thing. Should we do Jerry first or Pope Francis? Jerry. Okay, because we're on the Jew. We're on Jerry. Don't yeah. think we're off of him yet. We're still talking about uh, it. Is there a video? Well, let me just type in O Pope, Fran- Pope Francis. This is not a boogie tune. And by the way, if Israel's taking in all the pedophiles that are avoiding their charges in America, then what is the Vatican doing? I mean, yeah. come on. Uh, so he, what did he say? Fickness? Fat- apparently jokingly yeah oh man he said he spoke it in italian which by the way half the words in italian are like fagiolini fagiani Mm -hmm. so 
you can't really blame him. Do you know that's what he actually meant? I mean, they say they do, but what what do they know? Yeah, honestly, it could be like a type of cheese or right. something. Yeah, yeah. quattro fagiolini. Fagiolini. He was ordering DoorDash. Yeah, he was so. saying there's way too much cheese on this pizza as there is. So. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, what's that code for? QAnon people are... QAnon people love to be Catholic, but then they also want to kill pedophiles. But like, you know, how does that work? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Half of the popes were just bad people, you know? You think so? No, I think they just had an actual reputation of killing people. So it's Mm -hmm. like, you already have, you know, half of them that are bad or, you know. And like this guy. So it's like the worst thing he's done is said the word it. So he's not that bad. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying he's kind of funny. Yeah, I mean, I think that's hilarious. He to jokingly like... said, I listened to the interview in real time. I was watching 60 Minutes on Paramount+. Plus." Oh, really? Mm-hmm. And uh, I knew as soon as that word came out of his mouth, because I'm fluent in Italian, mm-hmm. Fagiuccini, mm-hmm. um, that he was just being playful about it, really. It wasn't to be harmful or hurtful. Yeah, and they said it was behind closed doors, too, which, by the way, that is like a weird... Like, you know how the Jews have those weird, like, during Passover, you can't turn the light on, but if the light's been on, you know, like, their loophole... Mm-hmm. <laughs> for, the, for the Catholic Church is like, well, if it's behind the closed door, then the microphone can't pick it up. You know, God can't judge me for it. So behind closed doors, he was like, yo, these f- are bad. And by the way, why does nobody give the Pope shit for wearing a yarmulke? I mean, he's wearing a yarmulke. Well, I've been wondering that for the longest time when I wondered about Catholicism back in 2018 when I was mildly interested in it. But the original Pope outfit was like a fish. It was like a fish because they believed in some fish god or something. Mithra. Really? Yeah. Hmm. True story, Italian bishops. So what's he going to do about it? That's really the an- the question we should be asking. I think he said sorry. That's always a good start, you know. Mm-hmm. He can always just apologize. And let's see. You see, clearly the Pope never intended to offend or express himself in a homophobic term. And he extends his po- apologies to any of the gay men to come to his room. They, try to, they make a big deal about him being the first Mexican Pope, too, you know. He's, yeah. he's from somewhere like down in Mexico or something. Yeah, he so. speaks Spanish. Yeah. So, Big I mean, whoop. do you think cuz he doesn't look Mexican, but is that's what he <laughs> is, right? Like he's a Mexicano. Mhm. So maybe he <laughs> Yeah. He, he uh, he's got a family in the cartel, I've heard. Yeah, yeah. So the the Catholic cartel. Let me see. Is there anything else in here we're we're No, nah, the Pope sucks. Okay. Yeah. I'm willing to say it, but if we have any Catholic listeners, I don't know, get lost. Yeah. Didn't the Pope a few years ago say gay marriage was cool? So, I mean... Yeah, he took a photo with a gay flag or something. He held it up and upside down. Yeah, (laughs) something like that. (laughs) We love our Catholic listeners, but the Pope is gay. He's wearing a ring. So what, is he trying to be cool? Why is he so cockeyed? Was he looking at you like he's smart? He kind of looks like Rudy Giuliani. (laughs) Has anyone done that? You know, there's a $20 bill in Jeffrey Epstein, (laughs) Uh but what about this guy and Rudy Giuliani? Let's pull up a picture of Mr. Ruddy. Ruby, <laughs> Ruby Giuliani. <laughs> it knows what I mean. I can be like a quarter right and it knows exactly what I'm trying to do. This is the Pope. <laughs> this is him. And that's further, and that makes more sense because they try to say he's Mexican, but Giuliani, Italian. Yeah. The Pope should be Italian by my estimation. So yes. there you go. It's like when I think of the Pope in my head, I think of him because I'm thinking the Pope is Italian. Let's do a, let's do a kind of back and forth. Let's do ears first. Same ears. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. The same big ass ears. The nose. Yeah, uh, they're yeah. doing different faces. Well, they do a little bit of a prosthetic thing because they give him big dumb teeth too when he's Giuliani. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Yeah. This is like prank level size teeth and nose so mm-hmm. it would make it perfect sense and he has to keep his eyes shut in the other one because there are slightly different colors so. and he's more bald here right well hey that's where the hamica comes into play <laughs> to cover that up same chain though nope <laughs> not same chain okay well but same gullet same gullet that's right look at that hang Folks. i mean the other one the wind's kind of catching it and over and you know over inflating it a little bit uh-huh but. uh-huh but I and uh, he cleans up good both times. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he could he could go out on a Friday night as either of them <laughs> and still be recognized just by everybody. So his highness, mm-hmm. his popeness. Oh. <laughs> okay, so that is our first bit of gay news. <laughs> the next bit of gay news is Jerry Seinfeld. And I bet if I just oh, it was uh, Barry Weiss who I thought was a boy this whole time. No. Yeah, Barry Weiss uh, on the Barry Weiss podcast or whatever the fuck she does had Jerry Seinfeld on. And Jerry Seinfeld said some very interesting things about masculinity. 
I might be off of him getting a hair thing. Otherwise, he's already fucking it up because mm. kind of looks like he's going again. In that bottom thumbnail, yeah, it's it's coming it's on out. Fire. <laughs> yeah, he's due for his second surgery. I don't want to wear. Oh, he cries about Israel. Oh <laughs> my! You didn't gosh. watch the whole thing. I thought you did. No, I didn't. I found out about it before I left. Uh, I want to see him cry. <laughs> they like to say Gaza. <laughs> a powerful experience of my life. Really? I'm sure. Yeah. Why? Um, you know, he just... <laughs> He's a man of few words. Yeah. You know. Are you thinking of someone in particular? Not BB. Pussy crying. Well, hold on. Sorry. Let's, we uh. gotta figure out what the fuck is going on. I don't even... I went a little early. This there, is so. weird. I've never seen him like this. What was he crying yeah. over? I don't know. Yeah, what was he thinking about? Gaza. <laughs> I mean, that had to be it. But she said, is it somebody in particular? And so what, is he crying because he got to meet Netanyahu? <laughs> Netanyahu? Yeah, well, no, it was about the Jew who called him a rabbi. Can we derail yeah, real quick and go to that? Yes. <laughs> okay. All right, well, it's a hell of a thing. <laughs> <laughs> it's a hell of a thing to be called a Jew. So, <laughs> so we just went over to Jew. Now, it was someone on Twitter calling him a Jew lover. And he's like, they called me a Jew. I'm so Obama. Called me a Jew. Hell of a thing. Uh, Call me was, a Jew. Hell of a thing. Oh, in the dichotomy of the online political man, you've got two ways to go, right? You can go this way. We'll, we'll play this video this first. This is going to fuck up the Keck fan base, though, right? This video? Maybe. Well. Aren't they all right? Yeah, they are, but we will offer them their solution with the next clip I will play. I met a couple of Orthodox Jews in New York, yeah. and they said to me on the street that they call me rabbi, which was... <laughs> hell of a thing. It's a hell of a thing to hear. <laughs> All right. Damn. Yeah, wow. Rabbi Peterstein. Yeah, there, there, there we go. go. Promoted from a Shabbos Goy to a rabbi. Hell of a thing to hear. He is in one for one hell of a hell. Wow, okay. <laughs> Inward pass. Jordo Benzo yeah, was pretty that was good. good. So, Western man, you can go Jordan Peterson rabbi, or you can go you can go this way too. This is the you other You can call me rabbi. <laughs> <laughs> you can call me a rabbi. Let me I'll Another find it. thing about it is you can call me rabbi and so on and so on. So <laughs> This, you know, sort of inappropriate Jewish thing they say. They go around saying, oh, you can call me, you know, this inward. Sorry, I'm blowing my load. Oh, there's a no way. Also, trying to get the transcript to, like, figure out what Zizek is saying. What's your other option? I couldn't resist the worst. Ask, ask me to sign a book <laughs> and seeing them there, I couldn't resist the worst racist remark. When I was returning the books to them, I told them, you know, now, I don't know which one is for whom, you know. You blacks like yellow guys, you look all the same. <laughs> they embraced me and they told me, you can call me nigger. You know, when they tell you this, it means we are really close. They instantly got this. That is, they got it. Yeah. What a turn. Yeah, so you have the Virgin Peterson. Yeah. Who, Hell of a thing to hear. Rabbi. Call me rabbi. You can call me rabbi. <laughs> you can call me cotton picker. So, listen. <laughs> I mean, for real, like this is not a joke. Do the one of him really quick, just in the, this on one? the right, on the right. Yeah. Okay. Because what is love? I just love, love him <laughs> wearing that. Okay. So you can either get showered by Jordan Peterson's mm -hmm. tears when he talks about something or showered by uh, Zizek's spit while he's talking about, you know, this sort of inward word. <laughs> in <laughs> inverted, inward. You can call me fat. <laughs> And they said, you can call me Stavros. <laughs> <laughs> Slavos. <laughs> Slavos. Stav Stavros. Slavos. Stavos. Gosh, hang on. I'm trying to think of some other. You can call me. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, sorry. Um, you can call me Gaza. 
<laughs> because they like to say Gaza. They told me you can say Gaza. So yes, yeah, sorry, bro, sorry to throw in that existential. Where are you going, political online person? You're going to be Jordan Peterson. You're going to be Slavov Zizek. Let us know in the comments down below. <laughs> now we return to this. We got to get Jerry. Jerry had some choice things to say. Maybe he was crying about how much he loves men. I think because he said something about men. What was the quote? Let men, me pull it up men, on my men, phone. Men, 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 men. Two All and right. a half men. Did you ever watch Two and a Half Men? Uh, I watched it a little bit. I didn't. I didn't love it, but uh, it was okay. <laughs> here we go. Five fifty-two for five fifty me and five fifty you. So here we go. This is what he had to say about men. We'll back up a little bit. Uh, a dominant masculinity. Yeah, I get the talk. Oh, here we go. Uh, I get it, but um, it's toxic. I miss uh, a dominant masculinity. <laughs> yeah, I get the toxic thing. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but still, I like a real man. You said something the other day that I just <laughs> stuck out to me. I like a real man. Oh, something the other day stuck out to you, Barry. Barry yeah. Weiss. What are you a What are you a black soul singer? He, Barry Wise, yeah. oh yeah, don't, Barry Wise. Don't be so wise on me, mama. Round and tootin' on the shootin' on the granny. I don't know, anyway. Uh, but that took you off guard. Just She didn't even follow up on that. I mean, come on. Yeah, you gotta, I want a manly man. Yeah, I like men. I want a real dominant man. And then she's <laughs> like, uh, uh, the Pop-Tart movie, uh, you said, uh, <laughs> is it real? I don't remember. I didn't watch this shit. I want to see what her follow-up question was. To you this, said though. film doesn't occupy the pinnacle in the social cultural hierarchy. Speaking of hierarchy, that it did for most of our lives. When a movie came out, if it was good, we all went to see it. We all discussed it. Okay, we yeah, yeah. It's called things change. There was stuff before the movie. Now there's stuff after the movie. Doesn't mean it's gone away. It just means it's different. <laughs> because they like it to say movie. Damn, Jerry's gonna be talking about this stuff till the day he dies. Unfortunately, I know. he's gonna. He's. I mean, what? Actually, this entire generation of people are gonna be hilarious, except Bill Maher, who's gonna pretend like he's keeping up with the times. He's gonna be the only one doing it right. Sorry, I can't not bring up Bill Maher. No, I, I understand. We we uh, every episode, we it, can't avoid the man. We should just rename it this show again to Club Random Two. <laughs> <laughs> see what? See how he likes it. Club Goon Club Gundam. This is our Gundam. Goon Kingdom. <laughs> oh yeah billy boy but yeah jerry i don't know i i what's the point of saying that even oh you know what Cause, what because he likes cars and that's the only thing manly about him sorry Dan. oh and sneakers this i've been told this is a bisexual trait is to do this with your jeans so maybe he is trying oh, to Nelson would do that uh yeah I because do. they didn't make them he had to order pants that were longer because they didn't make them that short they didn't fat out so he had to roll his pants up halfway oh uh, oh that was his reason why no he told me that was a real fashion thing and apparently that's not the case so jerry's by and uh i wasn't buying any of it do we have more in this interview though well i kind of want to hear more though okay disorientation replaced the movie business everyone in show business every day and we're here in la is okay this Maybe is retarded not, yeah, no. yeah i'm just gonna skim until i see him get the fucking napkin out is he have transitional lenses <laughs> i know what's cool guns Sun's out, guns out. Guns out. Gaza. Goo goo Gaza. For those of goo -goo you Gaza. listening live or just skimming the video, someone in the comments. I already hear someone in the comments. They're like, what? Where's the live video? Well, <laughs> you missed it. <laughs> It'll be back. <laughs> It'll be back. <laughs> uh, okay, I've, let's just see how it. Oh, you're there. He's laughing his ass. Oh, 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 oh there. He reached oh. for his holster. This is it. <laughs> it was. It was BB. <laughs> was it hell of a thing? You've been called rabbi, uh, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Sorry. One thing that I've been thinking about is... Okay, still crying good. What? How a huge part of the way you think about comedy is how... What? <laughs> that's how she changes the subject. Mm -hmm. Right. But what happens if a lot of saying. people are wrong? In other words, there is a... She's the worst interviewer ever. I don't think Jews do well in an age of mobs. <laughs> Jews are doing well, dummy. Like right now in our culture, it's really easy to form mobs. Yes, really easy. And what's the difference between the audience never lying, but when does the audience kind of tip into the mob? Do you see where I'm going with that? I do, I do. There's something... They, yeah. But I really have been wanting to ask you about 
like for someone that relies she's been thinking about a lot of important questions the last yeah, 10 years I've if you've followed her at all fell asleep funny. 10 minutes into this question what does that same principle apply by the way she's just to she was the one you know that was outed or whatever at the out, outed ousted or whatever yeah yeah at the new york times you remember that uh -uh. oh because she i don't know maybe she had like liberal. one no she's liberal but but she has like one conservative opinion maybe it's israel i don't know oh okay okay or she maybe was like against cancellation or something. That was her big stance. So gotcha. that's how she became independent and does her own thing, I guess. Oh. I don't know what the FP is, but. Fat police. Fat people. You see what I mean? No. Mm. No. <laughs> well, you can't act like we don't see this every day in many realms. Let's just talk politically, left and right. You're watching mobs. They're mobs. Mm -hmm. They're mobs wow. believing their own crap, right? Yeah. That's what a political party is. <laughs> We're going to make up a bunch of nonsense and we'll all agree to it, right? Right. Okay, let's let's print up some bumper stickers and get out there, I want him to come up with kids. a libertarian joke on accident, you know? Yeah. Like, where he does the thing like, okay, we'll get rid of the government and then we'll bring it back. Or, you know, then we'll all agree on a few things and we'll come yeah. together as one. You know, the jokes that have been done. Take like, uh, like the best things, like I like... Yeah, he becomes like a weed guy all of a sudden. I like <laughs> marijuana, that would be but so I crazy. also like guns. Somebody told me to try this thing, a joint. <laughs> <laughs> a joint jointing to what together? Well, it turns out when you joint grass and paper with a lighter, you feel pretty fucking good. And I'm cussing <laughs> now, motherfuckers. He just like goes fully crazy. <laughs> um... um and if I want to bring the joint and the gun to the gay wedding that my friend, my gay friend, uh, Jason Alexander and Kramer are getting married, then I'll do whatever the Bill hell Mar's, I want. Bill Maher talking about him on Club Ram. He's like, the only one that ever outsmoked me, Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> he can outsmoke the best of them. <laughs> Willie Nelson, Snoop Dogg. You know, I went to a party with Snoop Dogg, outsmoked him. I might as well have smoked a knee on his neck. New rule, Jerry. Bring your own weed next time. You're smoking <laughs> up all my stash. I mean, you smoked all of my marijuana what am i supposed to do yeah this guy is as they say geeking look at his face he's geeking i was kind of hoping he'd stay in jerry there for i am fucking geeking <laughs> geeking the fuck out so both takes there for the editor spyro you can choose which one you want and um okay should we move on now mm -hmm. that we got him crying so pussy Talks about cancel culture, cries as a 70-year-old man. Like, what a <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> He's going to be dead in like 10 years. Who cares? Why would you not? That's what I understand is all these politically motivated people over the age of 60 now. I know. You know like, it, why do they care? We thought Dave Rubin was bad because he was like 35 dipping his toe into politics. But then, yeah, what is this? Like, people twice his age doing the same thing. Jerry's in the mob of whatever the fuck this shtick is he's been doing for the last couple of years. I know. The mob of everything's cancellation. Everything is... Goo goo gaza. Goon 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 gaza. You know who's not like that is David Lynch. He's super old, but he's never really... Uh, he, he's not drifted yet, and that's why Yeah, but he did so the great. ice bucket challenge to Trump, and that was kind of gay. Wait, oh, I didn't know about this. <laughs> yeah, he challenged that. Trump? Hang on, all <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, dude, David Lynch, ice bucket. I know when he, when when uh, Trump... Uh, I challenge you, Donald Trump, to an ice bucket challenge. No, put in ice bucket. Oh. It's like you don't know a damn thing about keywords. Oh, and he does a little cup. That's uh, pathetic. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, yeah, uh, I'm fuck this guy. The challenge, <laughs> uh, two challenges. The first one is from Laura Dern, and she wants me to get the ice bucket, but with iced coffee. This is a double shot of espresso. Put it in the bucket. I'm going to play somewhere over the rainbow <laughs> and um, try to anyway. <laughs> <laughs> no, this already redeems the video. Let yeah, alone yeah. Him. Okay, that's a decent bucket. The second, the second bucket is from for Justin Thoreau. Oh. And thank you so much, Justin. <laughs> and now. I would like to nominate for the ice bucket challenge Vladimir Putin. Oh, wait, Thank so you very much. Uh, <laughs> All right, I misremembered that. Okay. It was not Trump. It was well, Putin. 
what's the fucking difference? They're the same to me. <laughs> Honestly, I... <laughs> <laughs> okay, because he does the ice bucket challenge. And he challenges Obama. Oh, he does? Uh, well, or... Did... I challenge Hillary Clinton. Quite frankly, everybody challenged me. ALS, I ALS. challenge. Homer Simpson... Mike Tyson, <laughs> Vince McMahon. Like, wow, you got all of his people that he challenged wrong. <laughs> like, everybody's... No, I said everybody. Yeah. I guess they want to see whether or not it's my real hair. Which and is no, that's not who he's nominated. I know, I was kidding. Miss Universe and Miss USA, I own it. They're here. They're going to really do a number on me. I'm challenging <laughs> President Obama. There we go. My son, Donald. My son, Eric. Let's go, ladies. What a mess. That's awesome. What a mess. Yeah, when Quite he said... Frankly, he said this about Trump. He could be one of the greatest presidents. All right, never mind. But he's still a great old man. He hasn't really gone crazy. The point is, Jerry Seinfeld is not David Lynch. Yeah, yeah. At the end of the day. Uh -huh. Okay, so. what's the next topic? We better move along. Do this real quick, but Skibbity Biden's got to be on here at some okay, point. Okay, let's do that now. Okay. Uh, we can get rid of Pope Francis, Scott Key, and then that will segue perfectly into the sexy beat-off time. Okay. Somehow. So, do you want to give an intro to this? Yeah. No. Okay. Well, no, because you're way more of the skibbity. I couldn't even tell you if it was skibbity. Skibbity okay. Biden. Yeah, skibbity. So, of course, uh, Stephen Colbert is always keeping up on the trends. And last week, he uh, he did his own little spin on uh, the skibbity thing. I don't know how to say it. Yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You had it right. That what? might be the first thing I'm too old for. Yeah, I had to kind of... Actually, no, I did not because this is a genre of video. You yeah, know, it's existed. We know about Skibbity Toilet. It's the Gen Alpha's first meme that they bring to the table. We uh, we understand what it is, even though our opinion doesn't matter because it's paved the way for the next chapter of memes. Sorry, that was retarded. But here's the context of this Skibbity Biden thing. We'll find the meme. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Meme manager. Let's go. They're looking for a meme page manager. Oh, yeah. So look for Ermagerd Trumpers Hurtler. I can't has youth votes. And of course, Skibbity Biden. Skibbity Biden. Skibbity Biden. That's so crazy. I know. Does the original even sound like that at all? No, it does not. I can pull it up. It's okay. one of the, only one of the most viewed video videos hear on. me out hear me out that's what he's about to start doing yeah. because that was so embarrassing that they had to ask everyone to laugh this is ridiculous. how is this any different than like xd random though i mean exactly. i just i always thought gary's mod was a little too random or something yeah and i will say you know what this is so much better than the mlg edits do For you remember sure. those yeah. those were like dog shit not funny they sucked well they're in the same realm as the youtube poops that just they do the 500 percent audio and just destroy yes. your ears and like i will ear rape yes yeah. i didn't want to say the word sorry but that's okay um but this is a show where i mean dude when you're here like anything fucking flies like all the windows <laughs> are down or all the windows all that's the guards part of are down. gooning guys yeah it's so, about taking off your pants and having fun yeah the dude, did you know take off your pants and jacket uh-huh take off your pants and jacket yeah yeah i know i was just that's take, something people try to say. I heard, uh, take your pants and jack it off. Mm -hmm. That's what uh, my friend's dad, would. <laughs> he would say that. He's like, yeah, you, whenever we'd go play out in the snow, he's like, go ahead and take your pants and jack it off. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was like, yeah, I was going to. I didn't realize for a while what he was saying. but Yeah, Blink-182 album. Everybody mm. likes to share that. So, take off your pants and jack it. Jack it off. So, <laughs> <laughs> take take off your pants and masturbate. I tried to say it. I butchered it once at a party. I said, take off your pants and masturbate. <laughs> and uh, fuck. So yeah, take off your pants and jacket. <laughs> oh, the thing I was going to say about this uh, Stephen Colbert thing, you know, this is, it bit in theory would work really well on a podcast, you know, because I, I was thinking about it like it's this is proof that the late night show uh, format is outdated and no longer needed. And I know that everybody's been hating on late night shows for years because they're like liberal yeah, no, and stuff. And actually, late night shows have always sucked. But go ahead. Right. With your hot take. Um. <laughs> <laughs> wow. okay i will um 
I feel like this is an actual time, you know, no emotions. Logically speaking, this shows it's outdated because you and I could riff. We could be like, oh, look at this. The, the Biden administration wants a meme page guy. Oh, what type of memes does Joe Biden like? You know, the joke, it makes sense. But when it's told through this lens of, of Colbert, like, uh, I don't know, pompously yeah. saying like, I can has youth vote. Skibbity Biden, the way he like... <laughs> yeah, when you said it, I laughed. <laughs> the way he just says Skibbity Biden, it's like he doesn't even know. Mm. He's not even sure what he's saying. Yeah. And uh, the cut, the family guy, not even family guy would do this horrible of a cutaway to that Skibbity Biden thing. And it's just like, it was just so retarded. Skibbity but... Biden, Joe, Joe. Wait, <laughs> Joe, Joe, Joe. Yeah, see, so that was way funnier than their <laughs> version, guys. So, and all all he needed to say was Dude, skibbity Biden." Ninety two thousand dislikes, only fifty four thousand <laughs> likey. Hell yeah! What are the uh, what are the comments saying? This is the nine eleven of television. Well, tel- uh, nine eleven was televised. Joe, 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 Joe. Uh, yeah, a lot of oh, whoa, whoa. do you know what this is from? Do you think God stays in heaven because he too fears what he's created? I don't know, some stupid fucking movie. It's from Spy Kids 2. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. That have you seen Spy Kids 2? I was gonna guess like The Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's it is just the, it's that out of place in the Spy Kids 2 movie because yeah. <laughs> they jump into a volcano. It's not even when they see the giant thumbs that they that. Did no, that's that line? that's Spy Kids one. Oh fuck! Spy Kids two is the they island. They come back because they're wearing tuxedos in the second one or something, right? Maybe. Okay. Uh, but the the thing is, this volcano. They jump in the volcano. Steve Buscemi's in the volcano, and he says that he's created all the monsters that they see on the island, which is why he hides in the volcano. And then he like looks off into the distance, and there's like a shine in his cracked glasses. And then he fucking spits out this line: "This do you think God stays in heaven because he <laughs> too fears what he's created? Do you think God stays in heaven because he too fears <laughs> taking off his pants and jacking it?" <laughs> One of the Hasidic Jews said, "Take your pants and jack it off." <laughs> It's a hell of a thing. <laughs> the black guy embraced me and said, you too can take off your sagging pants and jack it off. <laughs> Please jack me off. Uh, okay, all right. We can move yeah. on now. Skibbity Biden. Zizek has a joke book, by the way. Every, so if you if you like him saying the N-word, uh, look, look for his book, his joke book. Isn't his joke book, though? It's like, what did one Soviet father my say to the female camp worker? He said, well, due to the off-season, my crops, yes, do not appear. He kind of talks like skibbity toilet. <laughs> skibbity, bop, 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 yes, yes. Skibbity, nipa, ding, ding. <laughs> skibbity, so on and so on. Yes. Yeah. Skibbity yes. and Lee. Skibbity and skibbity and skibbity. <laughs> old, old Slovenian fairy tale. Skibbity. <laughs> the, the, in India, they they sit in the streets because they are afraid of this skibbity toilet. Now, what is the skibbity toilet? It is a head that comes out of the toilet when you poop. So they are afraid of it. Therefore, they sit in the street and so on <laughs> and so on in their pants. And that is why they smell. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right, that whole thing might need to be cut, but I don't know. I don't know. In the spirit of the show, no. But yeah. now we're going to get a little sultry. We're going to get a little sexy with you guys. It's going to get a little hot and heavy. And if your pants, if you haven't taken off your pants and jacket. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't already, take your pants and jacket off. <laughs> I keep saying it the other way on purpose. You know that, right? Which way? How are you saying it? I keep saying take off your pants and jacket. And you keep saying take your pants and jacket off. Oh, really? Okay. But I, didn't... I keep saying it wrong. I think I'm saying the wrong word. No, to say it wrong would be t- jacket, take your jacket <laughs> off and pants because that's the wrong order. You're still saying. What's take the your- actual Blink One Eighty Two album called? <laughs> take off your pants Thank and you. jacket. Oh, okay. So what were you saying? I was saying take off your pants and jacket. <laughs> okay. So you were saying it right this whole well, time. You were saying take your pants and jacket <clears throat> off. All I'm doing is okay. I just moved every the word time off. I would say it though. You would repeat it because you know we're kind of doing the Seinfeld thing that we yeah. hate, where we just keep- <laughs> sorry. And uh, you know, I thought you were correcting me. No, I was just, I don't know. I was just like doing the Seinfeld repeat thing. I wasn't trying to correct you. No, no, no. So anyway, okay, okay. Everybody, take off your pants, jacket, because we got some nudes to show you. Mm -hmm. And this is going to get us taken off YouTube. This is a little sexy. This is a little hot. Oh, yeah. Butter Taylor Blue. 
She had her 50th <laughs> birthday recently. Water Taylor Blue. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know what the opposite of Taylor is. is it like a, that's like sounds like a family cow. Yeah, Taylor is spelled differently in the way I said it. Mm. Um, family cow, Butter Taylor Blue. <laughs> that's Blue the Bell, type of yeah, the, Butter. That's the type of cow she is. She, she's not a red heifer. She is a Butter Taylor Blue. Now, what you're going to find out is one of us here thinks she looks damn good, and one of us isn't so impressed. Yeah, so this is her. She's We're not going to tell you which one's which. What hell of a zoom here, right? Wow, <laughs> cool. From 100% to 102% here. Great. So if you take a look on your screen here, this is Marjorie Taylor Green looking <laughs> like, uh, is, is his name, sorry, Brett Michaels? Is that the Guitar Hero guy? Yeah, yeah. Kinda. No, because she has way more of a face thing, her nose, you know? Well, now, now. Now, Brett Michaels is a lot sexier. Yeah, okay, I agree. I don't know why I keep using that word. I'm creeping people out, except can it come? Can yeah. I come? Can I come? Oh, can I come? <laughs> anyway, so we're going to keep going. Just going down the whole, uh, <laughs> I mean, dude, she has well, like men's feet. That's crazy. <laughs> I didn't even look. I don't like that. Look how long her toes are. Yeah. Now, this is the deceiving thing about iPhones. Anymore, you can't tell because people get flattened. They get stretched out. Uh -huh. People got their camera lens on a weird, you know, in between. Yeah, yeah. Thing. So she might not be that flat Whoa. on the chest is kind of what I'm saying. Now, show me everything but her face. Okay. But her face. <laughs> Well, I need to see their legs, the full legs, too. She looks like she would want to arm wrestle me, and I don't <laughs> like that. All right, but there's going to be another. I Maybe neither of us are into her. Yeah. Look, why would you post this? This is her honoring her 50th birthday, and she wants us to know she's still got it. And you know what's crazy is on Twitter, they fact-checked this photo, and it, sh and they sh it shows that uh, the sun was not in the original photo, but there's no sun in the photo. Yeah, is it saying that like there's another part off to the left that has the sun? Yeah, I don't understand what the community note was. It's gone now. Okay, good, because it made no freaking sense. <laughs> and then libs of TikTok, happy birthday, George Santos, 50 and fabulous, because she, because Marjorie Taylor Greene still looks like a man, and George Santos would do her. Now, this isn't going to surprise you guys, <laughs> but I'm not so interested in the sun. I want to see a little bit of moon. So do we got oh, another angle to show? Yes, we do. Great uh, suggestion here. So... Here's another angle of her hey, on her moon. fucking sexy ass birthday. Let's open this in a new tab. Now this, now this, I could get behind literally and figuratively. Yeah. So we've got this. Uh, the one thing I can't get behind is this cursed finger. <laughs> like this is like Ninja Turtle territory fingers. Mm -hmm. I mean, is she doing like a John Lennon like peace? You know, peacemaker. Some people call guns a peacemaker. Uh, this yeah, what is what is disgusting. she even doing with that gun? What is her finger on it? I don't know the parts of a gun. Is that a BB gun also? I just noticed. Uh, it's uh, a fucking BB gun. I'll be damned. Yeah, this is. This looks like a like a hunter's first because BB Because you can gun. see her fingers on the slot where you put the BBs in. Yeah. I've had one. She's a fraud. And mine is camo too, so that makes sense. <laughs> so she took it from you after you did her, <laughs> uh, and that was for her 49th birthday. <laughs> mm -hmm. So I like how... This picture, she's like out on the beach, and then here she's just like at a pool. But I guess I think it's to, <laughs> to further enforce the stereotype that Republican women are hot. And they're outside a lot. Yeah, yeah. Because you want to be outside as a man. Is it true that Republican, I guess what, Lauren Bobart? You know, when Lauren Bobart, <laughs> when we saw her in that Beetlejuice footage, and it's like, uh, uh, like, like, not blurry, but like compressed, you know, digital digitally she looks way hotter but then when yeah. you see her on like the c-span camera she's not as hot no she becomes a freaky kind of hot like a lot of these women you know megan kelly's a freaky kind of hot where it's like i don't look at her and go oh she's hot but in a uh -huh. freaky kind of way if she came on to me i'd be like whoa okay okay but so she's i'm not saying this is where she's at right this, no, this lady she, she's not at all i mean she looks good for her age but the, hey lady don't go around saying you're hot now you know <laughs> let's not let's not get that's crazy. what she said in the original post that's what they had to fact check yeah <laughs> yeah fact check this ogre looking i mean the face is it is where it is nasty. like the preset of a warlock character and like yes and war war what was that game called league of league uh, of warcraft oh yeah yeah war war warcraft war, war of warcraft it's a war -a warcraft is what it's called war of warcraft <laughs> uh not to be confused with warrior wear warrior wear ink yeah oh and yeah oh yeah nick fuentes is, he said talons <laughs> okay yeah he's picked up on that but i know it is actually yeah look up oh my god look up the toronto raptors logo okay <laughs> oh my fucking god because he's holding the basketball and he's maybe is even making i i love that i don't actually remember things as they really are <laughs> okay uh, okay hang on now maybe on there's now. maybe there's a better one 
Oh God, dang! You can't no, see his fingers. No, this is as good as it's gonna get. Now you can see. Well, look up a dra- look up just a dinosaur talent. I mean, it is true. Nick made a good point. Mm-hmm. Okay, here we go. Here yeah. we go. We're getting now just somewhere. put a now Photoshop a gun into the hand of the. <laughs> it's real quick. So this, let's go ahead and let's do some cross referencing. Oh yeah. Dude, this is what Darwin, Darwin was trying to figure out. Yeah, more like 50 million years old because she's <laughs> a dinosaur. Whoa. <laughs> I mean, good gosh. Steve and Steven are feeling themselves. But you can see what I mean, right? That's a BB hole? Yeah, yeah, that does. I mean, I think it's a 22 long rifle, which is the smallest caliber, caliber bullet. Oh, look, I didn't know you knew so much about guns. Yeah, now. I'm a shooter, so I'm a marksman. So, uh, No, it's a BB gun. It does kind of look like a BB gun. It cocks though. like one, too. <laughs> <laughs> you look like a bb gun and you cock like one too it would be funny if that were true i'm not saying you're wrong but i'm saying i think it might be a real gun still but it is this is suspiciously tiny why can't we just do sh- bits on the show where i just push the narrative that she's using a bb gun the whole time i did i just said that okay it's a bb gun. i agreed yeah come on my bb gun i'm gonna get it back on her 69th birthday <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> yeah and she's still gonna be looking hot as hell oh yeah who are the other i mean aoc is like the problem with aoc I want to say real say quick it. is she has been AI like AI'd into being like super sexy. So no, now I, there's now, a whole era of her before she was ever AI'd from 2018 to 2020. But I'm saying I don't I it's hard for my brain to distinguish like what's actually her and it mixes with all the AI photos I've seen first, of her. Yeah. So in my head she's still hot, but mm-hmm. I know she's not actually as hot as I imagine her. I remember the first time she said something bad about Israel and I was in Israel at the time, uh-huh. you know. Yeah. And I, I don't give a fuck. Or whatever, Cat Williams, you know. I, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> He's Beetlejuice. <laughs> He's literally Beetlejuice. That's right. I don't give a fuck. Well, they're brothers. Also, how did we not make... Did, we, did you make the joke about Lauren Bobart doing like a Bart Simpson style shenanigan by trying to give a hand job? Mm-mm. Okay, I wish we'd thought of that in real time. Yeah. Oh, well, you can always come back on my show real time. Sorry. What were you saying about Beetlejuice and Cat Williams? No, you just sounded like Beetlejuice. Oh. <laughs> um, so that's a dinosaur talent, everybody. Mm-hmm. Next week, we'll talk about... We're not done. Oh, <laughs> we're not... Right, no, right. no, 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 we're not done with the episode. Oh, okay, I'm I know I'm just saying that, next but... week, we'll have something you know else to broaden your mind with dinosaurs, kind of doing our part to extend the Joe Rogan legacy Yeah. since it ended. Sorry, lady. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye. Dude, that, that's like one of those trippy goon videos where they show you a hot girl <laughs> and then they show you a penis and they try to make you become a fem boy. Oh, okay, okay. Or whatever. Yeah. I don't watch that. I just know it exists, okay? Uh-huh. But you going back and forth between her and the <laughs> raptor it really did cause sort of a, yeah, yeah. a brainwashing effect in my mind. <laughs> you like dino- you're a dinosaur kid now. <laughs> Were you a dinosaur kid? I was a little bit of one, but my cousin was a huge one and I just didn't want to compete. Yeah. No, I, I was never in. I always liked uh, action figures. I was never uh, never a dinosaur or cars. If the if I couldn't get a toy to be in the car, I didn't want anything to do with the car. I'd let my Batman use a car as a skateboard, but anyway. Yeah, I had Power Rangers, Bat Batman, mm-hmm. several of several of them. <laughs> No, I was just saying we should move move along, move along. Yeah. Hoopify's, Hoopify's mom. mom. <laughs> so Hoopify. Stupify. No, YouTube. So you guys know Hoopify. He is the brain rot reporter who reports on baby guonk. And well, let's just go ahead and take a peek at some of his yeah. we- repertoire. I don't why do I I love the John voice. I can't get it out of my head. How much aura does Baby Gronk have? Baby Gronk gained a thousand aura points when he rizzed up. Lippy this is what it's like to literally die. more aura points. Finally, Baby Gronk added seven hundred aura points when he committed to Kentucky for this kindergartner. Who is this six ten twelve year old? I mean, is this guy a pedophile? Baby Gronk. This six year old plays basketball. This twelve year old plays basketball. This kid is... Th- oh, my girl. God. Yeah. Big Justice was doing a super intense workout and then decided to trash talk Baby Gronk. Baby Gronk, can you tackle me? The people that are into Baby Gronk, that's actually worse than being into Hasbula. Uh-huh. No, I fully agree. This ha- guy was funny for two seconds, this kid. Baby Gronk or this Yeah, Baby Gronk. Mm-hmm. Ooh, this? rapper Ian. Before rapping, Woo! this eighth grader would be the... Spl- we're, wait, we're just scroll until we get to his fucking mom. My mom wants to have. It was a while ago. 150 pound basketball. Is it? I I thought he would. It was like four or five weeks ago. And if you post a lot, then. I I thought he always did videos with his mom. Oh, this is one. 
Yeah, there we go. All there right, there we go. Hey, siblings, do not touch so them. we just yeah. showed you the ugliest woman in the world. Uh huh. And now I'm showing you Mr. Future, Mrs. Mr. Mrs. Future, <laughs> <laughs> Mrs. Troll Face, <laughs> Mrs. Sorry. Future Steven, everyone. <laughs> I'm trying to get a good pause, but um, all these. <laughs> and I taught, honestly. Now, this. What is. I wish she had her own channel. Yeah. I'd subscribe. Get She pulls her dentures out before giving head. No, come on. She doesn't have dentures. <laughs> No, she does not. Look at those prey eyes, prey predator eyes, sort of a hybrid. Mm -hmm. Because there is that killer instinct in them. The cougar, yeah, the cougarness um, mm -hmm. when moms get older or whatever. As yeah, they because say. they are protecting a baby, but they're still a cougar for crying out loud. Yeah. They're still a damn cat. <laughs> uh, so oh, I guess this is fine. <laughs> just, just you and me staring at the screen. Yeah. Looking he, at this. Now, I'm going to tell you, I, I love her face. I love her eyes. I'd love to see what's underneath. This video's got to play eventually. Oh, I'll hit play. I just you pause. Yeah, I yeah. It was so loading we can, the whole time. no, so we can see what she looks like. <laughs> now, this there is we go. the face she makes at me when I when I show up and she. I go, I don't even have a job, lady. <laughs> and she goes, mm, okay. And then she still smiles back. Mm -hmm. And then that's the face she. Goes, yep, I still love you to me. <laughs> <laughs> Let's find another video that she's in. Can you just type in Hoopify Mom? I feel like she's not in most of them. I, I'm getting lonely. Oh, here we go. Oh, hello. She's 44. And she's only gotten hotter, too. 50 and 20, 49. You'll see this a lot with women. 40's not great. 50's way better. Interesting. Well, we saw that with fucking Marjorie Taylor <laughs> Greene, actually. So that's not interesting. That is just a fact. Well, you know what? I'll say this. She looked hotter there than she's ever looked. Nice. Isn't that fair? I think so. That's the hot... Wouldn't you say of all the times you've seen her... Yeah, I would MTG, agree. Blue oh, Bell, MTG. Blue Bell. Yeah, yeah Blue Bell. Sure, because her face looked so small, you know? Like, it wasn't very prominent. She just has such an ugly face. I don't know. Damn, this is so sexist. Hot, hot. I'm not talking about the kid. <laughs> yeah, that's... The Why is he doing every year? I don't know. Damn, zero? That's impossible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's impossible to be zero years old. You'd be in the womb. Which um, I'd love to see that, too. You're going to show me <laughs> praying he's holding okay. taking a selfie <laughs> from the womb. I remember being born. So I guess if I guess when we say we're not real gooners, this is not a good look. Because what's the point of this whole segment, man? I don't know. I thought you just wanted to talk about how her mom was how his how his mom was hot. His mom's hot. Well, we've yeah. covered him before on this show, so there you go. He's yeah. got a and honestly, most of these people don't have hot moms. I bet probably not. So Tom it, Myers' mom. Tom Myers' mom's fucking ugo. Uh, I haven't seen her. Adam Friedland posted a picture of his mom no, that died four I, years mm, ago. She's, she's hot. I don't think she she's, was. She looks like Adam. Yeah, but Adam's beautiful. You think so? No. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Moving can, on. All right. Uh, so now we have another thing that's kind of a, it was kind of a big deal in our world. So Davis yeah. Clark, we literally put him on the map because we were covering him when he had 1,400, I think, subscribers. <laughs> I'm laughing so you know I'm joking. 1,400 yeah, yeah. subscribers. Oh, yeah. We've been following him since last year. And so he hangs out with Chris D'Elia. He's going on Chris D'Elia's show. We didn't know Chris D'Elia's brother. We knew he existed. Uh-huh. But he's the co-host here. And he's a little bit more alive than Chris, you're going to see. I was about to say, you know, you know this podcast was bad when the takeaway f that we both had was, whoa, Chris, what's... I want to learn more about Chris D'Elia's brother because Chris was not on. Mm -hmm. And davis he, the thing about davis it's like <laughs> they could never get any humane moments from him because it seems like he was just speaking in his mm -hmm. college one minute long video presentation statements where he's like i just do my best every day i live by three pillars i do my best i work my hardest and then i do my extra best also i want to say real quick i noticed this about chris chris has a drink problem which i also have i'm like i love juices i need all the juice near me to drink mm -hmm. so maybe chris is actually cool we should reevaluate his stand-up again well i was gonna say uh, here's my i have my takeaway on all of these people and, and you're not going to like to hear it. Right. And so I actually, I think what we should do first, we should show the sex question or just a little bit of the beginning and then the sex okay. question. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go back. Cause I saw him talking. Let's go a little bit before see what their they're question gonna, they're is. They're trying to get to know him. And so you don't expect them to break out a character too much. He's still Davis for mm -hmm. crying out loud. He's going to get a little bit more lively, right? Maybe we'll, we'll, see. Yeah, we'll see. Last few years we've been carrying, uh, I don't know what you call it, maybe a storyline, yeah. just capturing our life. Yeah, and yeah. it really goes up and down because a lot right, of people yeah. see, hey, you're going out, you're really positive, you have a lot yeah. of energy. Positive, but you'll already. see in the videos. Oh, no, we got to do it on the full <laughs> screen. Sorry. 
Wait, what? Oh, on the full on, shot. Oh, on all of them, them. All of them. Okay. There you go. Yeah. The, the other thing you're going to notice, so we don't have to point it out the whole time, is that Chris makes the craziest faces the entire time. He looks like a, uh, you know, when they show off like a new console and they're like, look at the dynamic <laughs> facial animations that Link has when he's, you know, just sitting in the world and looking mm-hmm. at the world. That's what Chris is doing. Yeah, it's it's he's seeing the Resident Evil 4 remake mm-hmm. or whatever. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Down, because a lot of people yeah. see, hey, you're going out, you're really positive, you have a lot yeah. of energy, but you'll see in the videos, we just try to show life as it is right, and there right, are major right. failures. Like even since the videos have gained traction, People will say, hey, what have you done? I'm like, I failed the finance test. I had a major accident at the Boston Marathon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so there are very yeah, yeah, yeah. low points, but I'm just like, gotcha. hey, I'm going to pick myself you up. You failed the finance get test? Back I, wouldn't think that you fa- I wouldn't think that you would f- fail. What does that even mean, you failed a finance test? <laughs> so right now I'm saying. What does it mean to fail a test? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, if you haven't figured it out already, they're not, they're, they don't have guests on very often because they don't know how to handle it. Yeah, they're not the brightest bulls in the bull drawer, whatever Theo Vaughn said. Yeah, yeah. I ain't the brightest bowl in the <clears throat> bowl drawer. Yeah, and it was funny because there isn't a bowl drawer and he's retarded and we laugh at the southern accent for being stupid. And then when Theo Vaughn reads, Joe Rogan goes, oh, I'm like surprised that you're not a dumb fucking redneck hick. And he goes, yeah, I can read. Anyway, I'm sorry. <laughs> that, I didn't know, I didn't know you had such a strong opinion on accent. I don't either. On the southern accent. That's, you learn something new about a man yeah, every yeah. day. You spend some time with him and learn something <laughs> Um, But what was i gonna say i had something to say about the delier brothers with this uh davis clark what fuck i don't remember uh, we'll just go on if it's really good i will have remembered it do we skip or do we keep going let's get to the sex question because okay. davis just goes you know i just kind of try to get up and grind every day i failed tests i'm human i'm not perfect mm-hmm. oh i remember what i was gonna say <laughs> yeah because chris and the brother will talk for about three minutes and then they remember they have a guest and then they ask a question and then davis will answer it barely then they go into the then it, that cycle repeats mm-hmm. that you'll notice that okay here's the virgin question so what we're here it's for a good let's number do one it goal. oh this is hey a- chris and matt i am a 24 year old virgin oh. uh, i oh, met this girl on dating out turns out she's looking for people to oh film videos with Yikes. Um, now, <laughs> fuck know, a fan. Yikes this could right. be someone looking to rob me. I know this could be a robot. I know this could all be nah. one thing leading to another. And I even told her that I was a virgin, and she seemed fine with it. Yeah, it's good for her. Uh, if it's so my yeah. is, what do you think? Davis. Should I do it? Um, He's a an action figure. I know. Yeah, seriously. Like stupid Buzz Lightyear uh, head. Doing it on camera. <laughs> not like that's the way yeah. things are going nowadays. But uh, wanted that's to true. get y'all's take. Again, love the show. Love you guys. Uh, this love to know what you think. Thanks. Is wild to be like. <clears throat> no, it's to not. Lose your. To decide. It's wild that people come to Chris D'Elia for advice. <laughs> that is the only thing that's wild. It's wild that they they don't realize this guy's probably getting scammed because it's like any girl who starts in OnlyFans, unless he's like the second subscriber, which I don't know if he's claiming to be, but, and then does he even live in her area? Right, 50 yeah. miles away No, or something. You know what I mean? What if that's the case? Mm-hmm. This isn't a conundrum though, I mean, but Chris is always baffled by everything and that's just so he doesn't actually have to put any real effort into it. It's yeah. just so, because it's an easy way to react. He can play just like the dumb. Like, Whoa, really? That's so crazy. And that's how you know he doesn't care about anything Davis says and I don't either at this mm-hmm. point, but he'll just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's just, you know, that's a sign somebody doesn't really care about what, you know, you're saying. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I get what you're saying. And uh, I don't, yeah, 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 you. I only yeah, 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 you to be like, I get what you're saying and I affirm what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Let's move on. Recently read an article about this gangbang. I forget her name. Okay, see, and then that's what I mean. They talk talk forever, yeah. Experience, like, did it. Did all the fuck, like, a gangbang? Dude, how do you do a gangbang? Oh, really, dude? (laughs) Unique circumstance. Actually, <laughs> fuck. Oh right, fans. Yeah. I don't. He's not a fan. He's obviously a unique circumstance. They will, they will fuck fans uh, that are virgins, like on camera. Squirming. And that's part of, I think. That, okay, <laughs> I do. So sure. I, what, what I'm saying is, yeah. what I would think is that this girl that you met is probably, like, it's she's probably into it for that factor that you are him vir- him and whitney cummings you know the faces whitney makes mm-hmm. when she's idling is Virginia. crazy whether you should do it or it not. Sounds like she didn't know though. He told her. He said he told her. Right. Eventually. Yeah. Yeah. And then she asked, oh, I, I don't know. Dude, like, what do you think? I'm saying, if she really has only friends where she fucks guys, this is probably an added bonus. The fact Dude, that you're yeah, 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 yeah. But, but that, doesn't, that doesn't answer the fact that you should do it. I know, I just said whether you should do it oh. is another issue. Yeah. I mean, I think that that's, that's a, <laughs> yeah. first <laughs> experience is going to be on camera on an on and not show you. What do you think? This? What do you think? Squirming. 
<laughs> I'm definitely not an expert in this situation. I work in business. I'm literally fresh out of the cubicle, coming yeah. to the re recording studios. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, where I'm just literally plugging away on Excel spreadsheets, <laughs> trying to make plugging. things happen. Different Even kind of Chris was like plugging. Yeah, yeah. You know, whoa. Uh, Holy shit, this guy is crazy. What do you mean? <laughs> now you're just confused <laughs> about something else. Spread, sp like where girls spread their legs and that you have a sheet of all the girls that spread their legs. Dude, I got <laughs> spreadsheets too, man. It's just like an infinite <laughs> hole for him because he gets confused about the virgin question. Then he gets confused about Davis being confused about the virgin question. Then he's questioning his own confusion mm -hmm. about the situation. And Davis also responds like an AI chatbot, like, hey, whoa, 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 I am just a friendly AI chat. I just know Excel remember spreadsheets. To remember to always be kind and polite to everyone. It's, yeah. it's important to remember to approach these issues with sensitivity. I am not an expert in this field, but I will say I just, I am fresh out of the cubicle and you should be nice to everyone. Just tell yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so I, I'm i just trying to spread a positive message mm -hmm. and just have people go out and live the life maybe, that they want. Maybe he should do it and be like, hey, to all the virgins out there, Look what's possible when you're a virgin. You can fuck only fans girls. I think you should. I think what you should do is try to have sex I mean, with a kid. Sick. Yeah. No, I don't know. I thought Davis. The first time I watched it, I was convinced Davis was like about to cry. That he, that he was on the spot because <laughs> he had like, to ask the qu sex question. <laughs> <laughs> I just live in the I'm cubicle. Just to spread positivity. Yo, I, I just am fresh out of the cubicle. Fresh out of the cubicle. You know, the other day my boss, he's a Hasidic Jew, called me rabbi, and I. <laughs> That's a heck of a thing, man. It's a heck of a thing. Another runner called me a runner. It's a heck of a thing. Another thing, we don't have to show it, but we could, is him talking about his marathon and the whole time Chris just being like, whoa, that's crazy, like the 26 miles. And it's like, you knew that's how long it took. Yeah. Or the distance of it, rather. Yeah, the the especially with the Boston Marathon, the thing is you have to qualify for it. I feel like that's the real key. It, mm -hmm. No one can just sign up for it. Yeah, Chris trying to be, because Chris has been told all his life, like, oh, marathon running is hard to do. Therefore... They just want to ask about the fact that he ran it. They kind of asked about him shitting himself, which was cool because mm -hmm. um, everyone was dying. My wife was dying <laughs> to know <laughs> how he shit his pants because anyway. But there was also a part where Chris got really interested in uh, Davis talking about coaching uh, high school sports. Chris seemed very interested and that might be why they flew him out. <sighs> I don't know. That's a theory. Yeah. What's Tej.com? Tej.com. What is Tej that? Tej Hanley, I think, is a hair uh, Oh, that's gel. his sponsor. Yeah, yeah. I want to know, though, what drew Davis Clark, someone as pure and innocent as him, mm -hmm. to be a continuous fan of Chris D'Elia. You know what I mean? Why would he Do you he think not... he's a fan, or do you think Chris just scrambles for guests, and then he ends up with Davis Clark? I think that's possible. And I guess he did mention that he reached out to Davis and like reshared his stuff early on. Cause I could see Chris trying to be like, a, oh, I want to be a motivational, you know, quasi motivational guy. So I'll share this guy's motivational stuff. And maybe that's how they linked up. But cause I oh, can't. Chris is definitely scheming. He's like, what can I take from this guy to start getting back in the good graces of the public yeah. or just having him on? True. He, he's the most likable guy ever. Right, right. He's boring, but. And and the because to him the result is people are going to think Chris is cooler again, mm -hmm. you know. Chris and Redbar did talk about this, so I'll be fast. But he was on that soft white underbelly video where it's like they interview heroin addicts and meth heads mm -hmm. for, on Skid Row, and Chris was on it as a canceled comedian, which is like so <laughs> crazy. <laughs> yeah. Dude, there's I've seen a few of those. You know the one like the family in yeah, like West Whitaker. Virginia or whatever. Yeah, yeah. That's the only one I've seen. It's the only one I've seen. Mm -hmm. But Chris, he's almost way more of a nightmare than that guy that was, you know, his third cousin's cousin. Where he's like, hey, 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 hey. You know, the guy who just like barks, <laughs> yeah. like, hey, hey, hey. And they're like, hey there, Two Tooth. How are you doing? You like your coloring book, Two Tooth? And just a 50 year old guy, mm -hmm. be like, hey, 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 hey. And then they take all these, these smelly hillbillies. <laughs> this is so <laughs> me. These smelly inbred hillbillies to a barber to get their hair cut. It's got to be so nasty. You're just there working your shift. And then all of a sudden, this rich guy comes in with like the four <laughs> smelliest. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then ha you have to cut all their hairs. But Damn, what even is a soft white underbelly? <laughs> I don't know. I think it's an analogy for society. It's a dog with a white belly. Right, because every dog, every dog has it's its a soft bark. underbelly. Yes, May, even though it barks, even though it has its bite, it has a soft underbelly that loves to be petted because <laughs> they like a two pet belly. <laughs> so, all right, well, that's your advice for a virgin. How does this end? Are we? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, Chris is probably so drained by the end. 
Oh yeah, yeah. He's out of his juice. Oh my <laughs> god. Yeah, the best face. It because yeah. I use Instagram because it's where my friends, my family are. No sh- the whole it. world. Yeah, an hour in they go. So why do you use Instagram? That's how Stop you know it went well. Make sure that they're going to get the benefit of any motivation. Wow. First and foremost. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> it could not have been a less interesting. <laughs> Take a look at that. What's the? Uh, there he looks like Lurch. <laughs> Who's that? <laughs> uh, look up Lurch. Okay. L U R C A. <laughs> uh, okay okay from uh adam's Munsters? family oh adam's family um okay let me pop this uh let me pop this molly be away i'll be honest i thought it was monsters but i guess it, i saw adam's family wait oh, okay. so. damn dude <laughs> <laughs> Uh, we're breaking your brains again, little yeah. sissy boy. There you go. Hey, little sissy boy, you're breaking your brain. You're not going to be able to see Davis without thinking of lurch. Motivational running. Nope, you're a monster now. Bing boom, monster. Okay. I'm just growth mind. I'm growth mindset. <laughs> now you're gross mindset because you're a Frankenstein. Anyway, watch Chris's wow. And I want to make sure that they're going to get the benefit of any motivation. Wow. First and foremost. <laughs> wow. Doing it for the a man of the people, yeah, dude. truly for the future. People. I'm just trying president, to help them. Future president, dude. Everything you say, future president. When you're president, I want you to remember me saying it. No. That you're going to be the president one day, okay? All right, I'm going to remember it because yeah. this is our first time in Los Angeles. Yeah, dude. Just trying something completely right, new. Said that trying ten to times. grow from change and just... See what it's First all about. First time in Los also, Angeles. Uh, we'll have it on video, on video too that you said. He exactly. Was, so. Everyone will know when Davis Clark is president. Uh-huh. People get- Okay, let's go a little. Hand, there we go. Damn. They're just totally they're condescending him by the deep. end. Wow. That'd be like if wow. my name was Crid. Yeah, once they found out he failed that test, they're like, oh, this guy's a fucking retard. He can't even pass his third <laughs> test. His cum- I've failed it six times, but the seventh time is a charm. <laughs> yeah, his CFA's cum f- analysis. <laughs> he laughed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Crid. Crid. Crit Delia. Mm. Yeah. Davis and Brennan is way better than Crit. Well, Davis and Brennan are names, and Crit wow. is a terrible <laughs> sounding sound. Whoa, this is like us riffing. Yeah. Hi, Crit. Wow. Wait, Chris, what is it? Crid? Crid. Is that oh. your name? Your real name? Yeah. That's what I mean. Like, they have unlimited time and like millions of dollars, and that's the best they can come up with. Like, it's so, it's so, it's such a shame, mm-hmm. you know? But okay, we'll finish, see how this finishes. Yeah. Crit Delia. Oh. The- One time I met a dude, his name was Seven. Again, at least that's a word. Crit is the worst. Ooh, that's like a bit that he does a lot, mm-hmm. and he wanted to go into that. I met but a dude. I met a dude named Seven once, and he gave him this look, and the brother was like, nope, we're moving on. Oh, I met a one guy named a Zero. D- it's like, no, that was the book Holes. Yeah. That was <laughs> yeah. Holes, Chris. You read Holes. Dude, his name was... And you're thinking about the holes that you had fucked. I, I knew this guy, Stanley Yelnats. <laughs> dude, I had this guy. His, his first name was the same name backwards, and it wasn't Bob. <laughs> By the way, guys in the audience, it wasn't Bob. It wasn't Stanley. Mom. <laughs> yeah, well, it wasn't Wow. <laughs> yeah. Wow, Mom, Bob. Backwards is Bob, Mom, Wow. Okay. <laughs> Seven. Again, at least that's a word. Crit is the worst. At if least that's a, a word. Be the worst Seven name. is one letter away from Stephen. Whoa. Oh, Damn. shout out. Pandering. <laughs> yeah. Literally pandering to our show because he knows. Actually, you know what? We appreciate it because yeah. I was a little bit worried about this episode, but you saying that. You're now looking, I like you're looking him. looking out for us. We like him again. Yeah, but seven is also a word wow. and a digit. That's yeah, fucking stupid, huh? It's pretty stupid, yeah. It's okay, though. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Anyway, all right. A digit? Thank, thank you, what are you talking you about? So Marjorie much. Taylor Greene's fingers? <laughs> Yeah. Claws <laughs> crawling out from the attic. Your uh, your vent, just the two fingers pop out of the corner like a spider. It's amazing. We get to see how y'all work, put together absolute masterpieces. <laughs> oh, so, absolute so cool. masterpieces. Different business. I'm trying to learn as much as I can every day, and hopefully we'll be able to just bring skills. Uh, they're gonna help people. Hell yeah, hell yeah, Davis. Check Thanks for coming Davis on, Clark. dude. Hi. Uplifting motivational videos. Thank what was you. the link? Okay, there. cool. Hi, we're good. out there to deliver positive messages and just make life a little bit better day by day. One 100. team getting after it. Hell locked yeah. in. Locked, locked in. in. Absolutely locked in. Let's go. That's right. Yeah. They, they, that, they could muster up the energy for that because that means it's over. Yeah, you know, yeah. The like, locked in. in. Yeah, locked in. Yeah. Okay, but we're locking out. Okay. Yeah. Wow. What a weird crossover i don't know and uh by the way there were other questions in this interview and they all were people that were like virgins or haven't had sex or virgins 
uh, the one guy who was like, hey, Chris D'Elia, I got to I got to come to you. I've got a question about my kids, about raising my yeah, kids, which like, is like, bro, you lost. You're done. Literally, he's going to say, give me custody. Yeah, yeah. You know, he does have a little bit of a Count Olaf thing going on. But I'm sorry. I don't speak <laughs> monkey. Banana. I, all right, sorry. <laughs> I, uh, I'll say that. That's one of my, uh, you know how Casey Rocket from Kill Tony does the, all right, get real. I'm gay. That I'll do the Count Olaf banana mm-hmm. thing. That's my Twitch. But I don't go on stage and do it 900 times in a row. No, but you have like 900 Twitches. I don't know if banana is your one thing. I know, but I also cycle through all my Twitches. Yeah. So I'm not like Casey Rocket. Casey Rocket! The f- who sucks. Um, yeah, what the heck? Rocket? Yeah, boner. Boner with his boner! <laughs> okay. Uh, so, should we? Yeah, what do we got? You, do you ever, and I know we kind of covered the man... Dilla effect, mm-hmm. the Mandalia effect. Yeah, but sometimes something that you saw as a kid isn't the same as you remember when you're an adult. Like a commercial. Like a commercial. State Farm is there? No. Okay. She. She, oh, man, I'm Jake from State Farm. I'm going to get you that good I insurance. To, I used to be white, but now I'm black. So obviously the title is giving this away, but uh, this is a commercial that we love and we just thought you Wait, should. Wait, what does it have to do with the Mandela effect? Because this is what I remember. It's not how I remember. Oh, yeah, and me neither. <laughs> we always fuck up the Mandela bits. <laughs> so there he's a kid. Uh huh. And it's good. The Oreo's good. He's His a- whole damn life. Everything's good. That's the 50s. Still the 50s. He's living in the 50s forever. I couldn't believe they left that on TV. I know, that was crazy. Not how I remembered it. But now, I mean, I'll be honest, whenever I see a black person like that, "Eh?" that sound (laughs) comes into my head. Now, 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 now. (laughs) (laughs) So... Uh, so, yeah, in the comments, guys, let us know if that's how you remember the commercial. We're trying to mm-hmm. settle a debate with Mandela himself. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That was the last thing on that the list. That was the last thing on the list. Okay, we're at it. We're at our time. So, uh, locked in. Yeah. We're grind set mode. We're going to be back next week with a whole bunch of stuff. Psych, maybe not. I don't know how the episodes are going to go. Yeah, they're going to go in a way in which you'll find out because you're going to be a good subscriber. You're going to be a good Gooner soldier. And by the way, what's our... Oh, and we did Apple Music. So, if you didn't listen to that episode or if it's not out yet, wait for it. It. it'll be out okay, before then, this yeah so uh listen. listen to that one yeah so they'll just be listening in order okay just go back and listen to them all <laughs> so, and subscribe and like 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 and mm-hmm. you should notice it's flashing when yeah. i say like 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 or do you think sorry do you think it was glowing when we said because if they like to say salsa like the, <laughs> oh, last, yeah. the like button <laughs> Glue you guys are in for a light show a yeah. light show <laughs> a light like, show more like like <laughs> uh yeah so sorry if you got a seizure from that but um all right we're going bye bye yeah maybe you should put it oh, wait 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 oh, yeah, yeah sorry wait, wait, wait. i'm back all right <laughs> make sure you put a warning at the beginning like they did in the old nintendo game seizure warning okay like a like seizure warning bye. you got it